Hello, Peter Fruin from Syngenta's Turf and Landscape Team. We're out in the beautiful Yarra Valley at the Eastern Golf Club. Today's walk and talk will be a part of Syngenta's Turfectionist series. We're going to have a chat today with Jay, the golf course superintendent, and Vivek, the horticulturist. Vivek was also the winner of the 2019 Asthma Claude Crockford Environmental Award. Vivek, tell me a little bit about your career and your involvement as one of the foundation staff members at Easton. Yeah, my career at the Easton began in 2014 when they first um, employed me. Um, yeah, and it was to look after all the uh, future growings for all the plants and the natural surroundings, to look after the wetlands, maintain the golf course uh, surrounds and the clubhouse and whatnot, and also the uh, nature reserve and the Yarra River. Welcome Jay. Tell me a bit about the club and your role at the club. The Eastern Golf Club is a private club. The course itself is comprised of 27 hole Greg Norman design golf course, plus nine hole par three course, which is Shark Waters. What was the Greenfield site like when you first got here? The topography was quite similar to what we have now. Um, Norman's design was to follow a least disturbance approach, so the cut and fill through the site didn't actually change too much. But the site previously was an adjustment property and the Yerin Gorge Cottages was an existing business that we inherited when we purchased the land. It is a very unique site. In fact, that's one of the things that was uh, attractive to Norman Design was not having to design a golf course around a housing estate. You could really uh, just take a greenfield site and make it all about the golf course. Jay, it couldn't be a better setting. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting out on the golf course and having a look at the site. Let's go. So we store a large amount of water on site, about 100 megalitres. Uh, through our wetland system and our irrigation dam. One of the things that's been really interesting to see over the last couple of years is the drainage work that we've installed is really capturing a lot more water within the site now that returns to the wetlands that we can recycle and irrigate again with. The Yarra River uh, certainly presents a challenge, not just our proximity to it, but also the Winnikey pumping station, which is part of Melbourne's water supply. We have quite a number of parameters around how we can use uh, water and, and pesticides within the property. So we do frequent water testing, so we know where water is entering the site and exiting the site. Well Jay, we've relocated out to the Yarring Gorge Cottages. Um, tell me, how do these fit into your maintenance program and the benefit of the club? This is something that we're really proud of. In fact, only 15% of the cottage guests are here to play golf, so that speaks to um, the majority of our guests coming for that nature-based experience um, and no doubt the work that we do is contributing to that but we also offer walking trails and a nature reserve that they can experience as well. Vivek, tell me about some of the plantings in this area. As you can see we've got our nature reserve up the top there and what the plan is with here is to run this finger all the way up to those golf holes you can see a mixture of different bags here, blue and white. The white ones are the ribbons of green plants and the green ones are the ones that the club's purchased to uh, be planted in this area. And then hopefully one day this area will be much more established and look like the other revegetation areas. We help maintain the wetland system on the golf course. Obviously the drainage installed from the golf course is now impacting quite significantly and positively on the aquatic wetland areas. Numerous birds and wildlife uh, pockets are, are being found now. I think that's probably been one of my greatest achievements, to watch everything develop into what it is today. And uh, obviously with the new areas that we've revegetated, that's probably going to be uh, another, another great achievement for me once that gets bigger. I'm really trying to push innovation a lot. We've, um, we've engineered a number of tools um, to make our jobs easier here, um, which I'm quite proud of. Uh, and we're also looking to explore um, driverless technologies and explore the um, automation space as well. Coordinating the our Capital Works program whilst the golf course has been open has been a huge achievement. Managing multiple contractors whilst still presenting a product to members uh, is quite challenging and something I'm quite proud of. My decision to nominate Vivek for the award was romantic in a sense that Vivek was the first employee to work on this property full time. He's really seen this project through from start to finish, is very deserving in his own right, but still represents the golf club with his award. Mm -hmm.